to go. Why, may one ask? I dreamt a dream tonight. And so did and I. And what was yours? That dreamers often lie. In bed asleep while they do dream things true. Oh, that I see Queen Mab has been with you. She is the fairy's midwife. And she comes in shape no bigger than an agate stone. On the forefinger of an alderman. Drawn with a team of little atomies. Over men's noses as they lie asleep. Her chariot is an empty hazelnut. Her wagoner a small, gray-coated gnat. And in this state, she gallops <laughs> night by night through lovers' brains. And then they dream of love. Or lawyer's fingers who straight dream on bees. Sometimes she driveth o'er a soldier's neck. And then dreams he of cutting foreign throats. And being thus brighted, swears a prayer or two and sleeps again. This is the hag when maids lie on their backs that press of them and learn them first to bear, making them give me a good carrot. This is she. Talk of dreams, which are the children of an idle brain, begot of nothing but vain fantasy, which is as thin of substance as the air, and more inconstant than the wind, who wounds even now the frozen bosom of the north, and being angered, puffs away from thence, turning his side to the dew drop of the south. This wind you talk of flows us from ourselves, supper is done, and we shall come too late. I fear too early. My mind misgives some consequence yet hanging in the stars. Shall bitterly begin his fearful date with this night's revels and expire the term. The despised life closed within my breast by some vile forfeit of untimely death. But he that hath the steerage of my course direct my sail. <laughs> 